Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Soraya. So today I'm gonna to be working on a black and white split and I'm gonna put some gold down the middle and blow it out and see what happens. Uh, in addition to that, while I'm blowing it out and working on it, I'm gonna be talking to you about how to price your art. It's a, a question that's been asked of me a few times and so I wanna to talk to you about exactly that and a few pointers uh, to keep in mind. Okay, so pricing artwork can be a complex task that involves several considerations. Artists employ various methods to determine the value of their creations. Here are some factors and approaches often used in pricing artwork. So the first consideration is artistic factors. Consider the artistic merit of the piece. Factors such as creativity, originality, technical skills, and the artist's reputation play a really crucial role. Established artists might command higher prices due to their reputation and demand. Number two, Another consideration is the cost of materials. Take into account the cost of the materials used in creating your artwork. This includes the canvas, the paint, brushes, framing, anything like that. This serves as a baseline, ensuring that at a minimum, costs are covered. Number three is time and labor. Consider the time that you spent on creating your artwork. This includes not just the physical creation time, but also the years of practice and expertise that an artist has developed. Number four is size and complexity. The larger or more complex pieces often command higher prices due to the increased effort and resources required. Number five, another thing to consider is the subjective value. Personal or emotional significance attached to the artwork, such as its cultural or historical importance, can influence pricing. Number six, market trends and demand. Research the market to understand what similar works by other artists are selling for. Analyze the demand for your style or genre of art. For instance, contemporary art might be more in demand in certain markets compared to classical pieces. Number seven, and the last one is where you sell your art. The platform through which you sell your artwork can affect pricing. Um, galleries, online platforms, art fairs, and direct sales might involve different pricing strategies. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. I'm going to let it dry and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when it's dry. And I'm not sure if I'm going to enhance it or change it up in any way because I'm really loving what I see. Quite beautiful. Look at that. So, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I'll be back here in just one second. So here it is dried. It dried beautifully. Perfect. Not a problem at all. Just the way it was when it was wet. I love these little dots, <laughs> circles. Um, just there. I think that looks great. That little bit of white too. I think that looks cool. Now, I, I think I'm going to add something else. I've got my paper towels and water ready just in case I don't like it. So stick with me. I'll be back here in just one second. Okay, so sometimes my ideas work and other times it doesn't. That's okay. It's good to give it a try and I wanted you to see it um, so that you shouldn't be afraid either. Try it out. It's easy enough to wipe off. 
but I do love, love the way this is. I just thought maybe we could add a little bit more here, but I think it's pretty sophisticated and elegant as is as well. So um, I've got up close images coming up and click on the link you see now to see more of my uh, abstracts. Remember, setting the price for your artwork is not an exact science and can be a subjective process. It's important to strike a balance between covering your costs, valuing your time and skill, and considering what the market is willing to pay.